I have our special on Wednesday called Hooked, Delmarva's Drug Crisis. We spoke with folks across the peninsula who have seen or experienced addiction firsthand. Yeah, tonight we sit down with Pauline Powell, the co-founder of the Sussex County Chapter of Addiction Resource Group, Attack Addiction. WBOC's Madeline Overturf shows us what attack addiction does and what Pauline, who's got a family member in recovery, says is needed to stop this epidemic once and for all. For the viewers who aren't familiar, uh, could you tell me a little bit about attack addiction and what it does uh, everywhere, but specifically in Sussex County where we are? Each county in Delaware, even though it's a very small state, has very different needs and is very unique. Um, the upstate chapter deals a lot with the legislature and with getting bills um, passed that can help enhance things for people with substance use disorder. In Sussex County, we actually do more in the line of supporting families and individuals who are suffering from this disease. So what we do is we try to raise community awareness and we try to get rid of the stigma attached to addiction. We um, offer resources to people looking for help. We offer information. And one of the big things we do is we try to educate. And I have to imagine that uh, in, in fighting addiction and helping people with treatment, that overflow of information and meeting of the minds per se is incredibly important to spreading the word and, and to, to ending the stigma and getting help for somebody. Absolutely. It's by communication and by open honesty that we can really get people engaged in speaking about what is going on in our communities because too many people are dying. There are too many people who are becoming addicted to very, very dangerous substances. So what do you think people need to know about um, combating addiction? Uh, uh, the average person, you know, someone who maybe doesn't have a family member or a friend, but what do they need to know to be, to be helpful in this, in this fight? Well, I, all I can say is because we don't know who can become addicted, the word to spread is don't even try it. In fact, they might be fun to start with, but when you cross that line into addiction, it's not fun anymore. It's heartbreaking to know the stories and to see individuals who've been affected. If somebody knows someone in addiction or someone is, is suffering themselves and they're watching this program, what do you say to them? The first thing I would say is please, please go get help. Reach out to somebody who can give you the choices to find the right way for you to get into recovery. And if you have a friend, talk to the friend. Um, one thing that we do emphasize over and over again in our group is that no matter what another individual does, the person who has the addiction problem is the only one who can make the choice to get into recovery. And do you have to live in Sussex County to attend meetings with your chapter? Not at all, no. We welcome anybody whose lives have been impacted by the disease of addiction and particularly by the heroin epidemic. We welcome all. Now the Sussex chapter of Attack Addiction meets twice a month in Lewis at the Bethel United Methodist Church. That's on 4th Street. The regular meeting is the third Wednesday of each month and support groups meet the first Wednesday of each month there in Sussex County. And WBOC has spent considerable time looking at the opioid drug issue here on the peninsula. Coming up on Wednesday now at 7 p.m., we'll show you what we have found on Hooked, Delmarva's Drug Crisis. Our reporters look at the struggles with addiction, heartbreaking grief, and the hope in recovery. That's this Wednesday at 7 for our one-hour special, Hooked, Delmarva's Drug Crisis.